Today's mug moment is Matthew 27, 57 through 61. As evening approached, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who had himself become a disciple of Jesus. Going to Pilate, he asked for Jesus' body, and Pilate ordered that it be given to him. Joseph took the body, wrapped it in a clean linen cloth, and placed it in his own new tomb, new tomb that he had cut out of the rock. He rolled a big stone in front of the entrance to the tomb and went away. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary were sitting there opposite the tomb. It is interesting that it was not the disciples or those very close to Jesus that took his body to bury it, but two members of the Jewish council that were converts, Nicodemus and this Joseph of Arimathea, most probably a town in Judea. These were just two of the converts to Jesus from the teachers and priests. We do know that at least several did become believers. We don't have much information on what happened with Nicodemus after the resurrection, but there is quite a bit of information on Joseph. Joseph was a prominent member of the highest ruling Jewish council. We know Joseph was a wealthy man, as were the other members of the council. He had to be wealthy to be the owner of that tomb in that garden. I was fortunate enough to be able to visit that tomb. It was as advertised by Matthew here. It is probably that the other members of the council were jealous of this location of the tomb. John tells us that Joseph was quiet about his belief in Jesus. He may have been silent during the ministry time of Jesus, but here he is no longer quiet. He boldly came forward asking Pilate for the body of Christ. May we be as bold as Joseph as he is here, as he here declares his faith in Jesus to the world. Go in Christ.